So we have a great segment for you right now. We're going to be talking about how to make stuffed peppers, and we thought, well, where better to go to get peppers for this recipe than Bauman Farm? So I'm here with Brian. And Brian, before we start, let's talk a little bit about the coloring of peppers. Why are there different colors? Is the flavor different? All of that stuff. Right. So the flavor is a little bit different. Typically with um, colored peppers, they're usually a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Um, usually it means that they've ripened. For example, for example, the green peppers, will most of them will ripen to a nice, beautiful red color. Okay. So um, this pepper is much riper, thus it's a little bit sweeter. But that's not the case with all peppers. Okay. When we're talking about orange peppers or ivory colored bell peppers, um, these peppers actually start out this color and will stay this color for the whole time. Okay. So it's important to know that when you're going to buy your plants in the springtime, and it also helps you when you're going to figure out which ones are the sweetest. Yeah, because if you go in and you think, that if it says it's an orange pepper, don't expect it to start out green and fade to orange. It's going to start it's out It's going to start out orange okay. and stay orange. But the red pepper's totally different. And what about flavoring? Is there really a big difference in flavoring other than just getting sweeter with the color? I just find that they're a little bit sweeter. Okay. Sometimes also they're not quite as firm because okay. they've ripened a little bit longer. Sure, sure. So sometimes the green ones hold up a little bit better when you're cooking them for stuffed peppers. And so that is probably why we would use the green ones for the stuffed pepper recipe. I would. They stay up a little bit firmer that way and it works out really great. So Brian, you know, the word antioxidant is thrown around a lot with, right. with darker colored food. Does that also apply to peppers? That absolutely applies to peppers. So when you're eating a pepper that has a lot of pigment, a lot of color in it, yeah. that's what holds the antioxidants. So you're getting a lot more vitamins when you're going to eat a colored pepper versus just a green one. Okay. Well, you know, I think what we should do now is gather up the peppers I'm going to take with me, and then we're going to run over to Jerry Yost from Gardner's Meats and finish this recipe up. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, now we got the bell peppers out at Bauman's Farm and we ran out here to Jerry and Deb Yost's house. We were going to get Gartner's meats, stuff them, make this great recipe, and what do you know, Gartner's already has pre-stuffed bell peppers. Well, you know, William, with the change of the seasons, we like to change things yeah. with the seasons at Gartner's as well. You know, it's a good time right now for comfort food. You know, stuffed bell peppers really is a great comfort food. They are delicious. Yeah, and so, you know, whether whether you have your own peppers coming out of your gardens or you went to Bauman's and got them, uh -huh. or, you know, you come to Gartner's, we already have some pre-stuffed nice. all ready to go. Those are beautiful. It's got our amazing meatloaf in it that we do down there. It's our house recipe. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. Uh -huh. So, you know, and even if you don't have peppers or you don't prefer peppers, yeah. let's just say for instance, you know, we also have nice little tins down oh there my. that are Look nice. That. You know, you can do that, you know, or, or And that is really the stuffing that you put in it anyway. Yeah, that's our own Great. house meatloaf that's in there as well. And I have to say, Jerry, I love this idea of putting the peppers in a muffin tin. Well, you know, they stand upright and it's really not, you know, they're not falling over. Everything's nice. not falling out. I've also put a little bit of water in the bottom uh -huh. of this little Pyrex dish here, you know, to keep them nice and moist. And what you're looking for, even if you're doing them in the house, in the oven or whatever, 350 maybe for an hour, you're looking for about 160, 165 degrees. Nice. You know what I really love about Gardner's is it's not just about meat. You have all kinds of food to go with the main course. Well, one of the things we like around the Yost house is we like tomato soup. Yeah. And, you know, in the wintertime setting in, you know, it's, we're getting into the cold weather. That goes really well, we found, with the stuffed peppers. Cool. Even though we don't sell that at the shop, but it goes really still, well yeah. with it. You know, and this is again what we have with the tins here, you know, and, and we have the twice bakes down there, of course. Love so those. We, those go really well with the, the uh, stuffed peppers as well. And, you know, back here, if, you, if you're a little bit more talented than I am, <laughs> you know, and, and you're entertaining or happen to be having a Halloween party or something yeah. like that, you can carve these little, these little peppers and then, you know, come down and get the meatloaf and stuff them yourself. So. <laughs> those, really, those really are cool for like a house party. That'd be great yeah. fun. And, you know, another thing that we have down at the shop that goes really well with the stuffed peppers is rice. Yeah. We have a nice selection, different flavors of some really nice rice that goes well with it. We also have a nice selection of you know, 10 or 12 salads. You have with great it. salads there. They're just really delicious. Oh, thanks, William. You know, and then what we've done also, we just added a nice little vegetable tray here to go mm -hmm. along with it and, and some some uh, vegetables there and, and of course some pies. And you know, we, we actually even have some uh, pastries down there as well. Wow. Some nice pumpkin brownies. Yeah, they, they absolutely look great. And the fun thing is, for just a small amount of money, you added uh, some pies, some cookies, you can get the whole meal at Gartner's. Oh, absolutely, you know, including even bread and rolls. And we actually even carry some nice uh, uh, cheddar garlic uh, biscuit mix. Well, being from Texas, more. you know yeah. I'm going to love the biscuits. Yeah, and that, that goes fantastic <laughs> with the uh, stuffed peppers as well. Well, you know what? Why don't we go back to the grill and look at some of those peppers and cut one absolutely. open? Absolutely. 
and again, you can tell, you know, with the with the water being in the bottom there, it kept them nice and moist. Yeah. You know, they're nice and juicy and tender. And that's just how you want your pepper done like that, you know, when you cut into them. You know, they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. That is perfection. You know, Jerry, it is not too early, though, to start thinking about pre-ordering those holiday meats. You know, and it's not, William. Starting next week, we'll be taking orders for the fresh turkeys, the smoked turkeys. Nice. Your boneless ham, bone-in ham, prime rib, crown roast, whatever you want. You know, after 53 years of being in the same location, we're well equipped to handle any of your holiday needs. That is very true, and always you'll walk away with a delightful meal. It's just a great place to go. So for more information, we invite you to go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to Gardner's website. Always a pleasure, Jerry. William, Thanks, thank man. Thank you.